Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm very excited to be doing an unboxing of Heroes of Normandy Solo Mode by Devil Pig Games. This brings long-awaited solo AI capability to the Heroes of Normandy, specifically the Heroes of World War II series, um, presenting you with an AI opponent that can play pretty much every mission uh, uh, from the old set to the new. Um, with with a few exceptions, there are some missions that will not work, but most of the missions in the new uh, Big Red One uh, line and the future, the current Kickstarter that's in late backer mode right now uh, will be playable with this system. Um, I'm very excited about this. I had uh, I mentioned in the past that I've I made a my own kind of like just chip pull system to make it uh, a little more. Uh, solo friendly you know if you if you draw chip and then you just take the best action with the unit that got that got pulled take a look at what you get inside hey if you're enjoying these videos be sure to give us a like and a share don't forget to subscribe and click the bell one ringy dingy so one thing that's interesting is the back cover and the shrink wrap is just a blank uh, not a blank, but a just a uh, piece of paper with the uh, with the information on it, and then you have artwork on the back, and no none of this detail. So you might want to hold on to this if you need it. But uh, anyway, um, this apparently let's see, it says it works with Heroes of Stalingrad and Heroes of Normandy uh, as well. So that off to the side. Um, I've not been able to find this for sale in the US. I'm hoping some of the online stores will definitely at least pick this up. If, if, if not, it may be available in a local game store. Um, but if not, it's available on the Devil Pig website. Uh, it's just that the shipping is from Europe is a lot higher. Um, so just something to, be, to think about. As of right now, it is available on the Battle of Cain uh, Kickstarter, which is in late backer mode. Uh, and you could just add it there if you wanted to get um, the solo or the expansions or the big red one base game, so on and so forth. So it might be a better way to get it if you're looking for it right now. I do hope to have a play of this up very soon uh, once I learn it. <laughs> and I will go through how the solo system works. But I'm very excited about this. So. What do you get in the box? Okay, so you get a couple of drawstring bags. Very nice. And printed with, we have a U and we have an R. Are you? Yes, I am. So, Er. That's where Abraham was from. All right, and then we've got two decks here of cards. We'll open those in a little bit. And then you get the solo mode rules and scenarios. So it comes with some scenarios, which is pretty awesome. And this is a 34-page um, book. And on the back, you've got solo mode icons built in. Very colorful. So this is the same quality as the base game. So kind of a semi-gloss or glossy magazine stock. It covers everything. It does have the faux tabbed side here, so you can easily find the different sections you're in. So let's see what we've got here. We have, this is interesting. It comes with some cardboard uh, shoes that get built up for decision tables, and it shows your tables uh, and drawing cards and things like that. So you have action cards, reaction cards. A for action. R for reaction. And then you got AI setup tiles, anonymous unit counters, there's 48 of those, danger tiles, uh, if they're aggressive, defensive, yellow, black. Uh, R is for reinforcements, U is for units. We now see that in the rule book. There's an AI dashboard. Very excited to see how this plays out, how they can take this game and make it give a solo intelligence to it. So you got your instructions, your rules, your index here. Let's see. Yeah, so setup's about 10 pages. 
the game turns on about two pages, then there's some clarifications, uh, decision tables take up about eight pages, and then scenarios. So there's a family meeting, chapter one, and then this must be a typo, family meeting, chapter one. So it must be chapter two. And then there's a scenarios list for Heroes of Normandy, Heroes of Stalingrad, to tell you which ones you can play. So let's go take a look at those two scenarios, 28 and, 20, 28 and 30. I think they meant number two. So here's family meeting chapter one, family meeting chapter two. So that's what they meant there. And then we go into our scenarios list. And this is what I'm very excited about here. So here's a Normandy core box. The AI can play both sides in Godsend and Saving Private Rex. The AI cannot play the Americans. Playing Carnage, the AI can play both sides. Slaughterhouse 5, the AI can play both sides. So it guides you through what which ones uh, can be played. So that's that's awesome. So you have St. Mary Iglesias, you have Carantan, you have Pegasus Bridge, D-Day, Civilian Center Fire, Invasion Begins, Hobart's Funnies, all the different scenarios. It's pretty darn cool. And then the same thing here for Heroes of Stalingrad. Core box, scenarios, booklets, snipers, so on and so forth. Gaming aid. And then how to assemble the shoes. I'm sure we're going to see those on the punch boards coming up. So, rules and scenarios for the solo mode. And then we have our punch boards. So let's take a look at those. So we have this, which has some icons. And then this is one of these, uh, so it punches out. Uh, this is the, uh, what does it tell you exactly which one it is? I'll try to put this one together here. If I can, I may not have all the right pieces though. Let's see. So here's some feet, some backboard. Probably going to be missing a, an element of this. And then there's some icons that, you know, or tokens that you'll draw for various things. Um, spread out in there, but let's just try and see if we can't not mess this up. So that would slide into here. Da -da -da. And then this would slide on this side. And then this one would slide into here and it looks like it holds a tray that I don't have at the moment. A floor. But this may be all incorrect. I may have the wrong pieces. Something like that. And then it's got your instructions and then place for the cards to go. So that's pretty cool if I have it right. Since they were all on the same punch board, I assume they all go together. And then you get another one with more instructions, more counters that we saw in the uh, in the rule book. And it's all the standard uh, devil pick quality, very thick, very thick cardstock. So these are the these are the floors that are going to go into that. So A and B, and you've got the tabs that go into the into the side wings, and then the center one mounts into that so very well designed very I, I the the components are very well designed I don't know how the solo system works lots of punch boards and now we get some counters mystery units question mark and then what they're revealed to be on the back and then your solo control panel Two, ah, one is French, and the other is English. At the start of every order phase, the AI draws an action card, and you'll set your various danger, the, the black, red, and the yellow that we saw. Different markers will go here, and they get triggered here as these different uh, trackers. You'll go up and down. you got an easy, medium, and hard. So it seems like it's very scalable uh, to your play style, and to the difficulty level that you want to play. So that's pretty awesome. And then another sheet of units. There were 48, so there's 24 per sheet. And these are units. 
and then those various danger markers that we had, a, a, a tracker that goes up and down the side. <laughs> and you got more bacon here. You got lightsabers. With this new hero inspired by Griff in the movie The Big Red One by Sam Fuller, we couldn't have missed the chance to create these totally geeky options. You got a lightsaber. This customization grants the character with the assault plus three special ability and allows assaults against heavy vehicles. This option can only be taken if both players include it in their army. So you can't have one side Jedi and the other side not. Luke Griff Brassert. So you got some bonus units in here. Defensive, aggressive, balanced postures and the different benefits they get. Pretty sweet. So let's look at the action cards here. These are the same size as the standard cards in Heroes of Normandy. Uh, uh, it, Heroes of Normandy, big red one, and probably for Heroes of Normandy. So if you have sleeves, you'll need some more for these. These are AI action cards. Burst into action. Play when the AI unit makes a movement action during its activation. The AI unit gains the fire on the move special ability. So just like you have action cards, the AI gets a deck of action cards. So then we've got reaction cards, where the unit can react to things you do. So it's command, reinforcements, tactical movement, firing actions, suppressive fire, so on and so forth. If you pick up, and you should, if you like Heroes of Normandy and you want to play it solo, uh, the, the Heroes of Normandy solo expansion, you're going to get the two decks of cards. Move those to the side for now. You're going to get one, two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine punch boards of gaming goodness. You're going to get the solo mode rules and scenarios. You're going to get those two decks of cards. And the unit and reinforcement draw bags. And that is everything that comes in. Solo mode for Heroes of Normandy Big Red One Edition by Devil Pig Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh!